In this video, I'm going to share everything you wanted to know about disposable gloves. How to find the lowest price for disposable gloves. How to find the highest quality. If you're a business owner or a company and you're looking to source gloves for your business and find you know, the lowest price possible and find a good supplier, you're going to want to watch this entire video. I've spoke to hundreds of manufacturers, distributors, suppliers, and understand the behind the scenes and also some of the secrets behind the glove industry. I'm going to share with you some options for you to consider at your business if you're looking for the lowest price possible and also some options for the highest quality and for your different application, whether it's from industrial to cleaning to medical to food prep and everything in between. I'm also going to share with you some new options and the latest technology when it comes down to glove manufacturing that's even better for the environment. As you may know, there are billions of gloves that are ending up in landfills every year. And the goal is to be able to create a more eco-friendly option for you and your business. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So things that you shouldn't consider when it comes down to purchasing gloves for your business is the specific use case. Number one, you need to think about the material. <clears throat> now, I have a, a lot of different options here in terms of materials. You also think, want to think about the thickness, and that's often called mill uh, in terms of a three mil, five mil, <clears throat> you know, all the way up to an eight mil. And that is the thickness of the glove. And we're dealing with, you know, much um, thinner options, which, uh, you know, is shown here as this light uh, prep glove. They are much thinner. And so when you think about material, you think about thickness, but you also want to think about some of the different characteristics, which would be an embossed glove. Um, embossed gloves allow, have that texture where it's much easier to put on your gloves. It's also better for aeration. So maybe you have um, uh, employees or workers that complain about their hands getting sweaty or it's hard to be put on the gloves. And also, um, you know, it also comes down to the texturing of the fingertips, which would be uh, uh, add on to an additional cost of the glove. So the texturing on some of the gloves where you need uh, precision. Uh, some of the fingertips could uh, have a special texture, which allows you to grip things, maybe in slippery situations and whatnot. And then also one of the last characteristics you really want to consider is manufacturing for the quality, also known as AQL or the acceptable quality level as it relates to gloves. And that's usually anywhere from a one to five scale. So those are things that you need to consider that really determines uh, down into pricing. And so a lot of uh, options here. There's even more that, that I've tried is again, you know, what we've done here at Eco Gloves is that we've actually just tried on pretty much every single glove that's out there, talked to the manufacturers, went to the major uh, trade shows, really understood both, you know, uh, other products that are available and also entering the manufacturing process. So if this video is of any use to you, please uh, like it, uh, subscribe to our channel where we provide a lot of tips about how to purchase disposable gloves for your business. And also if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments of this video and we'd be happy to answer them and, and help you. So uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> the lowest cost glove that is out there is what's known <laughs> as this poly glove. And so this poly glove is, you can see here, um, they often have a loose fit. They are very thin and often these gloves can be used for, <clears throat> again, like uh, this uh, light touch, light application type uses. You may find them in food prep. You may find them at your typical sandwich shop. Um, there are even applications, you know, in addition to food service, where people would put these over a glove. And so you could also have, you know, one of these other gloves and people put on these uh, loose fit gloves and then they would go ahead and take them off. So <clears throat> these are your lowest quality um, and lowest cost gloves. And, you know, typically they're made out of plastic. And again, you know, these really end up in landfills. It's gonna take almost 500 years for something like this to degrade, but it definitely is the lowest cost option that's out there. <clears throat> and so, one of your next options is what's going to be known as latex gloves. 
So latex gloves, um, they usually come in a more natural uh, color. Uh, latex gloves have a great tactical feel. They're, they're used in you know, medical applications uh, for precision uses. <clears throat> the problem with latex is allergies. And because of these latex allergies, people really have moved into nitrile. And so nitrile is used in hospitals, you know, the medical uh, professions. Nitrile is also used for food service, you know, in the tattoo industry, for cleaning. And it overall is a much superior glove um, to, to what's available out there. And in terms of nitrile, um, they are more expensive than some of these other options. Um, but just in, uh, going in terms of price-wise, you really have your plastic poly gloves. And then what goes next is going to be you know, your latex or your vinyl, vinyl option. <clears throat> so this is what's known as a vinyl glove. And vinyl gloves are great just because they're kind of that hybrid. You may, you may hear this term also, a uh, hybrid glove. And a hybrid glove means it's a mix. It's a mix of what would be latex, vinyl, nitrile, and really to drive the cost down because nitrile is much more expensive than some of these other options. So latex is, is a great option uh, for different use cases. Um, uh, so, so vinyl gloves, <clears throat> you know, are great just in terms of overall flexibility. They, they might be used in salons and professions where they may, you know, dyeing your hair or um, not so mission critical precision that's needed that comes from nitrile gloves. So, right, again, we're going to go from the plastic to your latex vinyl options and then nitrile, nitrile being the most ex, uh, expensive out of these ones that, I, that I'm sharing here. And when it comes down to nitrile, really the price differences that you're gonna notice between nitrile is gonna be whether they're medical grade and um, also the, some of the characteristics that I mentioned. Um, this um, nitrile is going to be exam grade and they're gonna range from different thicknesses, as I mentioned, three mil, four mil, all the way up to eight mil. <clears throat> and so um, let me share with you here, these are both nitrile. And you may not see it uh, in this video, but one of them is five mil and one of them is eight mil. So this eight mil is much more expensive, right? And the, uh, the reason being is that um, the thicker the glove, the more expensive, the more material, the more manufacturing energy and process that needs to go into it. But this eight mil would make the difference if you're using this in an automotive industrial uh, setting where you need this to be durable. Imagine if you're like changing you know, tires on a car or you're, you're uh, working on things and you have that abrasion and you need to make sure that this doesn't get cut. That's when you're gonna want to have that higher uh, thickness of a glove. And so typically in those applications, you're gonna wanna go with the eight mil. <clears throat> what we've seen just in terms of a general purpose glove is that three mil, right? And that's used for everything from food prep to uh, some exam applications, to cleaning, you know, protect your hands. is just an overall um, high quality, multi-purpose glove. And so I'm gonna share here um, some more options. Again, this is um, uh, your nitrile. Um, this is going to be another example of an industrial grade glove. And uh, you may not be able to see it in this video, but you can see that it's actually <clears throat> raised dots here on this glove. And so, you know, in terms of colors of gloves is very important. So from a safety standpoint, what companies like to do is color code their gloves. So in some situations you have companies that have certain gloves for handling a certain type of material at their company. And then certain gloves, you know, let, let's use this in a restaurant uh, situation. You have companies that have blue gloves meant to handle meats. And then you have the clear gloves meant for just light uh, food prep of, of vegetables or for serving people. And so that's the reason behind some of these colorings. Um, usually that doesn't really drive up the cost too much when it comes down to color. But just so you understand why there's different colors here. And in the case of you know, gardening gloves. There just really is so many types of gloves that are out there. But when it comes down to, you know, finding the best quality and also the lowest price, I kind of shared with you um, the high-end versions or most expensive, which will be your nitrile, um, which will also be uh, rubber and neoprene. 
And so those are typically materials. Um, you know, they may come in, in these two and, and also different colors like black, orange, green. Rubber neoprene gloves are used for chemical resistant uh, type ap applications. And the reason why those are more expensive is that they require more energy. Um, also different, you know, uh, petroleum based chemicals are used in the process to bind all these things, um, you know, when the reaction actually happens to create these gloves. And I'm also gonna be sharing in future videos just how disposable gloves are being manufactured. So be sure to watch our other videos and we'll be able to highlight that as well. And so that is, is basically um, the old technology uh, of disposable gloves. As I did mention that, you know, uh, something that we learned about in the last few years is that billions of disposable gloves are now ending up in uh, landfills. And so I do want to share with you what the future of disposable gloves is. And when it comes to being environmentally friendly, we are eco gloves. And so eco gloves is basically the latest take on disposable gloves and everything that we learned. I'm going to share with you um, the first offering here. So you're going to see this glove is actually a special glove. I'm going to uh, read off what it says. I am not plastic. I am compostable made from plants. And so what we did here at eco gloves is basically this formulate this unique glove that's actually made from plants. The materials are different plant-based materials so that it composts um, in a commercial uh, composting facility and doesn't end up in landfills like this one for the next 500 years. And so you've already seen it in terms of plastic bags, plastic straws, that really companies are starting to care about the environment and understand that there are costs to manufacturing such low quality materials that end up into even our, our water system, that you have these, these plastic chemicals that are being leached now. And so what Eco Gloves has formulated is this one of a kind proprietary product where all the way from our manufacturing to our supply chain and even end delivery and, and, uh, and even supporting the organizations that are going eco-friendly. So this here is a bioplastic disposable glove and it's meant to really replace uh, these two gloves here. And so this is a great option for companies that are looking for a replacement to your traditional plastic gloves to find something that is more eco-friendly. Um, you know, this is for lights, um, you know, kind of protective purposes, everything from food prep to some cleaning and really was formulated um, way, in a way that can work with different applications. It comes in multiple sizes, um, small, medium, large. Uh, this is actually the packaging. It comes in a pack of 100. <clears throat> and so help us support the earth. Uh, you know, please share this video just with any of your coworkers. I want to learn more about disposable gloves because what often happens behind the scenes of manufacturing is that you don't understand uh, what's going on with, with the environment and the lasting impact of when somebody throws away a glove in, in, a, in a garbage uh, can, what happens because there is, you know, um, issues that we're now facing from an environmental standpoint, which is almost the reason why we developed this product. And they break down in a commercial composting facility. They do not break down on your hands or, or while you're, you're doing your different tasks and whatnot. And so now I actually want to share with you another glove option. This is actually bio nitrile. It may look like the traditional nitrile glove, but this is actually biodegradable. Yes. So this is a, this is a glove that has all the characteristics of a standard nitrile glove. This is actually our latest glove here at Eco Gloves, and it is bio-nitrile, meaning that it's meant to biodegrade um, in a landfill. And there's a special agent that we added to this so that it can do that, so that when it ends up in a landfill, it can start degrading through the process. And again, uh, we really need your help in terms of getting the education out there. Um, you have two eco-friendly versions now when it comes to disposable gloves that we're offering. Um, they're eco gloves. And so again, we have our bioplastic, our compostable glove here. We also have our biodegradable nitrile. 
So there you have it when it comes down to uh, disposable gloves. Hopefully we answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions, go ahead and comment uh, down below. We take a look at all of them. We're gonna be creating more content around this. And if you need disposable gloves for your business, go ahead and visit our website, ecogloves.co. We'd love to send you out some free samples as well for this and really help us help the world go eco-friendly, you know, change the way that you're buying your disposable gloves, you know, ask those questions, are they eco-friendly, ask about all these materials and always happy to help. So thanks again, subscribe to this channel and um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy and uh, stay protected. Thanks, bye.